reduce carbon emissions, the cement industry is cutting the clinker content of cement. Portland Cement, SEM1, with 95% clinker, once the standard, is now being replaced by SEM2, with as little as 65% clinker. Obviously, this clinker reduction affects the properties of cement-based dry mix mortars, such as tile adhesives. But how exactly? To find out more, we conducted tests on an existing formulation for a tile adhesive classified as C2TE according to the European standard EN12004. We replaced the SEM1 in this formulation with four different SEM2 grades. Then we tested if the mortars still met the requirements for C2TE tile adhesive. When comparing the formulations with SEM1 and SEM2, we found that most fresh mortar properties are retained. These include workability, slip resistance and wetting ability. Some are even improved. Additional tests with a flexible C2TE S1 tile adhesive showed that transverse deformation was greater in the SEM2 formulations. However, some properties are negatively affected, including early strength development and tensile adhesion strength after immersion in water. In the following, we will show how these issues can be addressed to formulate high-performance tile adhesives with new cement types. Early strength development is a key property of tile adhesives and depends primarily on the cement binder. The rate of early strength development can be visualized with ultrasonic measurements. Here you can see that the early strength of SEM2 with its lower proportion of clinker can develop much more slowly than in SEM1. This is especially relevant at temperatures below the standard climate temperature of 23 degrees Celsius. After a day at 10 degrees Celsius, early strength development is so slow that the tiler cannot walk on the tiles the next day to grout them. The good news is that the slower strength buildup can be compensated for by optimizing the formulation. Another possible issue is tensile adhesion strength. All of the SEM2 tile adhesive formulations we tested showed reduced tensile adhesion strength, especially after immersion in water and free thaw storage. Particularly problematic is the low bond strength after immersion in water. Almost all of the SEM2 adhesives failed to meet the C2 standard. Selecting the right polymer binder helps to overcome this issue. We used the Vinalpass Vinyl Acetate Ethylene VAE dispersible polymer powder with a hydrophobic polymer backbone. These Vinalpass tear polymer grades contain water repellent monomers incorporated into the backbone of the VAE polymer chain. As you can see, using a Vinalpass P grade with a hydrophobic backbone such as Winnerpass 8118E, 8620E or 7220E improves tensile adhesion strength after immersion in water. We manage to meet or nearly meet the standard in full. Switching from SEM1 to a cement with lower clinker content leads to a huge reduction in carbon emissions. This is also good news for the dry mix mortar industry, which can now produce tile adhesives with a smaller carbon footprint. However, it may be necessary to adjust formulations to maintain the same level of performance. At Wacker, we support our customers by testing and adapting their formulations. 
We have even developed new grades of Winner Plus polymer powders that are optimized for specific SAM2 types. Because we too are convinced that we all must do what we can to combat climate change. Talk to us about your ideas.